Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, we're going to be continuing our series of installing Hadoop on Amazon EC2 instances. This is part three, uh, where we finally um, install our multi-node cluster. In part two, we installed uh, Java and uh, Hadoop as a single node cluster, and we have everything up and running um, in our uh, node summary here. And if you look, all of the nodes from what we were doing last time, they all work. And that's the important thing to recognize. Now, <clears throat> this isn't very helpful for uh, the use of Hadoop. And that is uh, that it needs to be a, a run in a parallel environment, or at least it should be. That's how to get the most out of it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to restart my cluster. And that will just shut down any of the processes that are running. Uh, we'll make sure that everything is uh, starting from scratch. Now, there's a few changes that we have to make to our cluster. Um, <clears throat> namely, we have to um, set up uh, some changes in the configuration files. Our, our core site, uh, previously, we had a property called this name node that we created ourselves. We're going to change that from uh, local host to Hadoop master. Now, this is my Hadoop name node. Uh, that's what I've called it in my EC, uh, ETC host file. You can change that to anything you like in your ETC host file, and uh, it will uh, continue across. Um, <clears throat> next one, we change some uh, elements in yarn site. And HDFS, as I mentioned previously, we are going to change this to have three replications across the nodes. Okay, so as we're just waiting for this to restart, I'm going to now go into my name node. Now, we're going to make all of our configuration changes on our, uh, on our name node first, and then we're going to synchronize them later. So we're going to reconnect here. Okay, so our change that we have, we'll make a copy of that property and just paste it. <coughs> there we go. Save that. Go back down to yarn and copy that. Now some of these, um, some of these changes may actually already be in there. Uh, if they're not, that's not a big deal. So we just we'll just put them over. Uh, this one here, for example, or uh, job tracker. Let's just confirm. Yeah. So that's exactly the same setting as before. So no changes are needed there. <coughs> let's go into our HDFS because we know we have to make a change there for sure. Our HDFS site, and we're going to change that to three. Okay, we'll save that. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Uh, we don't need to worry about changing the ownership and, uh, and file permissions. So what we're going to do next <coughs> is just copy the configuration files over to our data nodes from our name node. Okay, so I'm just going to restart my session here. Okay, I'll paste that command. <coughs> okay, and we'll just double check. I'll check with my data node one to ensure that that file actually got over there. We'll check the HDFS site because that's one that we definitely made. That one worked. Okay, excellent. Okay, so we're so far so good. Uh, we've got our uh, configuration files over. Now what we need to do is create a masters file. Okay, now this masters file needs to exist on any of the uh, nodes that are designated as a name node. So our Hadoop master is one of them. Okay, and our data node one will be our secondary name node. <coughs> so we're going to copy this command here. And what this command will do is uh, create our masters file in our name node, okay, and let's 
restart our connection here. Good. Okay, we'll double check our files. Now you'll see what we have masters and Hadoop masters. Okay, you'll also notice that the owner is root. We're going to fix that problem in a moment. <coughs> we'll also just double check on our name node that we also that we now have masters as well. And we do. Good. Okay. So we changed our ownership. And that's only on the name node and data node one. Okay, or our secondary name node. Okay. Now the other way that I could have done it, rather than run running uh, both uh, both terminals at once, I could have just simply copied the master's file as it is, uh, right over to data node one using SSH, and that's that this command does right here. Okay. Next one is the slaves uh, file. This file here <coughs> will uh, create, or this command here will create our slaves file. And um, it will apply the slave abilities to data node one, two, and three. Okay, so I'll copy that command. <coughs> okay, and that means now that we have a slaves file that has all of the information that we need in it. And that's our name node. Okay, and if we scroll down, we need to set our permissions. Okay, there we have our permissions set. And last but not least, not least, we need to copy the slaves file over to all of the other nodes in our in our cluster. And we do that just by by executing that SCP command. So let's just check uh, data node three for example. Here we'll just see if we have that file. Uh, if we don't, we need to understand why. Okay, sort by changed. Okay, data node one, two, three. And you may notice that in this configuration directory here, there is no masters, okay? Just remember, data node two and three are strictly for da data nodes. Data node one is a secondary name node. <coughs> okay, next one. Now, um, some of the things that you may want to consider here uh, during the uh, name node format, all right? There are... Uh, there are folders that we set up in um, in the uh, in our environment variables, for example. Sorry, not in our environment var variables, but we set up in our HDFS on our other data nodes um, that may cause some problems during our format. But I'm going to run this and check it out here because what we have is a formatted name node. Uh, that is uh, was formatted as a single node. So let's just see what happens here when I try to run this format command. What it will do is ask me to reformat the system. So I'm going to click on Y, okay, to reformat. And <coughs> we're going to see what happens when we run a start DFS here. Now, I'm thinking that it's probably going to give us some errors in the logs. So we're going to check the logs in a moment. Okay, so far so good. You can see that our data nodes are all starting up. I'm going to go to our uh, DFS homepage and refresh here. Okay, right now it shows as zero live nodes. Okay, so that's not a good thing. This is what we're, we're going to be checking out right now. <coughs> Most likely, the reason is, and you'll see that there is something in the log files that shows why this failed, okay? And remember, you need to go down to the very bottom <coughs> of this, and it says, incompatible cluster IDs. No problem, we can fix that, and that is because we have, um, we have uh, cluster IDs that are related to uh, each single node cluster, not the, 
not the data node that we're trying to, or the multi-node cluster that we're trying to work with. We'll just double check here to confirm that it's the same problem. And you can see that it's consistent across the board. Okay, I'm gonna just do one more, just for the sake of understanding what we need to see. Okay, All right, you can see that's the same thing. Now, how do we fix this? It's quite simple in a non-production machine. We're just we're going to be taking the easy way out, and that is we're going to be um, removing some of the uh, data node information that is in our uh, that is in each of our our uh, data nodes. So this is our data home information, I should say. Okay. So I have some scripts here that I use quite often. You feel free to uh, to um, uh, copy those. So I'm going to uh, stop my DFS. Okay. But on the other ones here, I'm going to remove the data home. Okay. And start that connection there good okay and we'll just remove the home folder there again as well so now let's just double check that we uh, we've got rid of everything that we we need here okay you see now we have no HDFS folder in the in there we want to make sure that everything is out because weird stuff happens and it doesn't as you can see Good. And last but not least, we'll check our name node because this is uh, one that is uh, causing some problems here. Let's do that. We'll refresh. Great. So we have nothing in, uh, in any of the name nodes right now. <coughs> so from our, uh, our name node, we're going to do a full format. All right. So you notice it didn't ask us to uh, reformat. Um, and uh, we can just simply do a start dfs.sh. Okay. Now we can check our uh, log files while we're doing this, while we're starting up. And we'll see what it tells us now. <coughs> So far, so good. So this is the most recent one, okay? Let's just check our check one more here. This is a pure data node, so we wanna do wanna make sure that it is working, okay? Go down to the bottom, and looking great. Okay, so we have this up and running. Let's run this or refresh this page. Okay, now we have three live nodes. Awesome. If we check into each one of these, we can get uh, volume information. Okay, and these are this is how you want to uh, double check that you have uh, that you actually have something running here. Okay. <clears throat> if these pages didn't work on the other uh, systems, uh, then we would have some problems. You'll also notice that this is referring now to the public DNS, okay? And it's a port of uh, 575, okay? Um, slightly different than this one. If I refreshed this one now, um, I won't get anything. If I refresh this one now, I also won't get anything, okay? But if I change the port number here, you should get something. And there we have it. Okay. Now, just in some diagnostics that we uh, may want to consider here, uh, there's a few utilities. Uh, browsing the file system is, uh, is kind of an important one that you may want to get used to. Um, you will be able to view all your files here uh, that you upload to your uh, file system. We can go to logs as well, and this is an easy way for us to uh, tech, check out um, any of the log information. Okay, and you can see our last install <coughs> or startup was very clean, whereas before 
let's just see what it showed us here. It showed us that we had an error before. Okay, so we are uh, we're looking really good on our full install. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. Um, remember to uh, like and share, and uh, I love the comments, so keep them coming. Uh, I hope this video is helpful for you and uh, keep sharing it around this is really important I don't uh, I don't make a lot of money doing this uh, these videos but uh, it's mostly am I uh, helping others in the process so have an awesome day guys we'll catch you soon